progression every year there are one or two questions based on arithmetic progression in paper 1 SPM additional mathematics now before we start solving any questions based on arithmetic progression you must understand that the two main formulas in arithmetic progression are these two t n it means the n term equals to a plus n minus 1 d a is the first term d is the common difference and s n that is the sum of the first n terms equals to n over 2 bracket 2 a plus n minus 1 d or is also it's also equal to n over 2 times a plus l where, where L is the last term. A is the first term, L is the last term. And the engine room in arithmetic progression is the common difference. How do we get the common difference? The right term minus the immediate left term. Simple. These are the few basics you need to know in arithmetic progression and apply them accordingly in the questions. Okay, the first question we have today is a clone question based on the year 2005. Okay, now you have read the question. Now let's see how we solve the question. Now you are given the first three terms of an arithmetic progression, 3, 8, 13. These are the first three terms. Part A, what are you supposed to find? Part A, you are supposed to find the common difference. Common difference. You are supposed to find the common difference. Now, common difference equals to the right term minus the immediate left term. So, we take 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3. Right minus left equals to 5. That is your answer. Very simple. Okay? Now, part B. You are asked to find the sum of the first 16 terms after the fourth term. After the fourth term. Now, you see here, 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23 and so on now this is the first term after the first four terms this is the first term so let the first term a be 23 and the common difference d is equal to 5 we have already found 5 now what is s16 that's all S16, we use this formula. Okay. S16 is equal to N over 2. 16 over 2 bracket 2A. A is the first term. 2 times 23. Plus N minus 1. D. N minus 1. 16 minus 1 times D. D is Five. Okay? So, what do you get? What do you get? 8 bracket 46 plus 15 times 5 is 75. 15 times 5 is 75. 46 
plus 75 is 1 to 1. Okay? You get 8 times 1 to 1. So, what is that? 8 times 1, eight, 1 to 1 is 9, 6, 8. That is your answer. That is the sum of the first 16 terms after the fourth term. You get it? Just apply the right technique, the right formula. You arrive at the answer. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you another clone question based on the year 2007. Okay? Arithmetic progression. Now we are supposed to find the common difference. These are the first three terms or three consecutive terms of an arithmetic progression. So you are supposed to find the common difference. Now be careful. Don't stop at finding the value of P. We are supposed to find the common difference, not just P. But we have to find P first. Okay. How do we find the common difference of an arithmetic progression? The right term minus the immediate left term. So that is the technique we are going to apply here. So, right minus left. 7P minus 9 equals to 9 minus bracket 6 minus P. Okay? So you get 7P minus 9 equals to 9 negative positive negative 6. Negative negative positive P. Okay? Plus P, bring over to this side, minus 7P minus P, 6P equals to 9 minus 6, 3. Minus 9, bring to the other side, plus 9. 6P equals to 12. Therefore, P is equal to 12 over 6. That is 2. P is 2. But we are supposed to find the common difference, not just P. Okay? The common difference. So the common difference we can take this. 7P minus 9. Le right term minus the left term. So the common difference. Common difference. Is equal to. 7P minus 9. That is 7 times 2 minus 9. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. This is your answer. The common difference. Go step by step. Don't stop here. Some of you may forget and stop here. But you are supposed to find a common difference. So you got to finish it until here. Right. Get it? Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2008 paper 1 okay here you are given the first three terms of an arithmetic progression okay and you are told that the end term of this progression is positive find the least value of n now what is the meaning of positive in mathematics? Positive means more than zero. More than zero. So the nth term, for the nth term, we use this formula. Tn equals a plus n minus 1d, where a is the first term 
and D is the common difference. So first we get the value of A, the first term. The first term is negative 54. Okay, and D is equal the common difference is equal to negative 50 minus negative 54. So you get 4. So the common difference is 4. The first term is negative 54. So what is the nth term? We use this formula. The nth term, Tn, is equal to A, negative 54, plus N minus 1 times D times 4. And you are told that this nth term is positive. Positive means more than 0. So negative 54 plus N minus 1 times 4 is more than 0. Negative 54, bring to this side, is positive 54. So N minus 1 times 4 is more than 54. Now you bring the 4 down and you divide. So what do you get? N minus 1. N minus 1 is more than 54 over 4 is 27 over 2. That is 13 and a half. So N is more than 13 and a half. Okay? 13 and a half minus 1. Bring to this side is plus 1. So what do you get? N is more than 14 and a half. Okay. We are supposed to find the least value of N. Now, N is an integer, positive integer. The number of terms. So all the integers which are more than 14 and a half. Okay. It can start with 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay, and so on. So all these are more than 14 and a half. All the integers, more than 14 and a half. The least value of n, the smallest value is this. The smallest, so the least value of n, the least value of n is 15. That is your answer. That is your answer. So you just apply the proper formula, you arrive at the answer. The one extra thing you should know here is positive means more than zero. Very important. I hope you have got it. Now you see that arithmetic progression paper one is quite simple. Now even those of you, you who find it a bit difficult, all I want you to do is remember the formulas, apply the formulas, and practice, practice, practice. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you.